Yes, Digital Pro Family, hope you guys are well. Guys, on this fantastic video, I'm going to show you how to upscale and edit your images really, really quickly. Just one go. So it saves you a lot of time. Make sure that you get those images up and ready to sell, guys. But as usual, if you love digital products, you love creating, researching, listing, and all of that mad Etsy stuff, then please hit the like, subscribe, smash that notification bell, and don't forget to share because we love to share. And please drop a comment below because, listen, I love, I love hearing from you. So please drop one below. Got any questions? Just drop it in the comments. Anyways, let's get into this. Because look, if you look at all these, say, for example, bundles of clip arts, right? Creating bundles of clip arts, whatever it is, whatever they are, um, takes time. Takes a lot of time. And then you've got to edit. You've got to, you've got to make sure that um, you've upscaled. It takes a lot of time. But look, you need to do it and you need to be quick with it. But look, I'm just going to jump on mid-journey very quickly. Now, what I've done in, check out my last video where I show you how to create big bundles of images, large bundles of clip art images really, really quickly using Midjourney. So do check out that video um, at the end of this one. I'll leave it at the top at the end of this video. Um, but literally what I, what I did was in the last video, I created a, a bundle of images in the same design style because it's very important to do a bundle in the same style um, of um, in this case pink Christmas uh, vintage style watercolor style right so I did for example you can see this is a, a Christmas these are gnomes this is reindeer Santa Christmas presents Christmas tree Christmas books uh, flowers uh, truck all in that kind of pink Christmassy style Cracker, uh, uh, Christmas balls, cake, right? Fireplace candles, all sorts, a whole big bundle. And then what I did was then I upscaled them, right? Um, I'd upscaled it one time, um, but not obviously four times. Because what I want to do is I want to upscale and I want to edit all of them in one go. So what I did was once I did that, okay. I saved all my images and you can see all the all the images are saved there you can see them in my downloads I got uh, quite a few of these images these pink Christmas style and then what I'm going to do is after I've done this um is uh I'm going to take it into something called my designs right with everything that I use I want to take it into my designs guys with everything that I use do check out the link in my description just everything so you know exactly what i'm doing and how to access it so my designs is cool because what it does is it allows you to bulk upscale and bulk edit your images which is what i want to do okay which is exactly what i want to do so this is what i'm going to do first now that i'm on my designs i'll go to upload upload files right uh let me go to i can drag and drop them or choose them so what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the images that I want to um, bring in. Where are they? Where are my images, man? They're all over the place. Oh, here they are. Okay, so I'll start with this one. Let me see. This one to this one. Right. I want to take all of these. Click this. And obviously, I can take even more uh, to this. All of these. I want to open these, right? There you go. Drag them. Bring them all here. Um, right? Okay, so they're uploading. Okay, so it's uploading my designs. You can see this, these are uploading now. Put them onto the listing page. And then I'm going to show you how we can get this done real quick, guys. It's amazing. It's really actually really quick, really quick. It would really, it saves you a lot of time by doing it through my designs. And I find it honestly one of the best um, platforms to do this. So as you can see now that I've got my designs, now step one, is I'm going to upscale. So what I'm going to do is I'll go to all actions at the top. Actually, let's give it uh, a bit of time to uh, upload. It hasn't uploaded. They haven't uploaded fully. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to select. Um, select all. Okay, so then I would go to all actions, right? Remember, you can do so many or images, you know, way more than I've got um, all, and do it all in one go. So what we do is we're going to upscale image first because at the minute, all these images are like 
about a thousand by a thousand pixels but we want to get it up to say four thousand as it says here four thousand ninety six by four thousand ninety six which is perfect right perfect um then we just click upscale right and it says you're about to upscale those 11 listings remember you can do way more than that but it will cost 22 credits because what it is is you buy credits onto this uh, platform so i bought my credits and it says yes upscale images say yes and then it's going to actually do this now so what happens is the main image is uh, about a thousand by a thousand pixels that i brought from mid journey and you can see in the main slot here the main file slot and what's going to happen is it's going to process and put in the next slot these upscaled images and you'll see it appear in the second box see it's done it's actually done now see that there it is they're all done now uh next step is i want to edit so as in like remove the background i need them to be transparent if you're going to sell especially clip arts you're going to have to remove the background so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to remove background now which is there from all actions remove background and so i want to just double make sure that i'm going to use not the main file because the main file is a thousand use the first mock-up one which is the upscaled one and the upscaled is the one that i'm going to um delete the background and make sure it's transparent okay for all of those images and then so i'll click remove background and it's going to double check with me you're about to remove the background for all those listings that i've got the 11s that i've included um cost you 11 credits okay let's remove the background okay so it's processing now So what I should have is I should now have um, upscaled images for all of those bulk ones, 4,000 by 4,000 approximately, 4,096 by 4,096. And then also now I should have them with edited, removed background and just the uh, transparent background. I'll be able to tell because over here in the third slot in the mock-up two, you'll see an image appear, which should be the transparent image background. So just for it, wait for it to appear you can see it's processing right now but i'm telling you this is so quick like it's amazing it does the job so quickly in comparison to tediously doing it like one by one and then once i've done that once i remove the background and i can verify i will uh i'll download them into my my laptop and then i'll just check them out just double check and see how they look um in case there needs any anything extra cleaning you never know but usually they're really 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 good like i said check the link in my description you see my designs there try it out and it's really cool just to try out so at the minute it's going to do all of these uh 11 images so it's all upscaled you can see that all the little second image slots are there and then the third slot is going to appear anytime now will have the transparent background is which is absolutely essential if you're selling especially um clip arts anything like that you know that's a that's a that's a must really uh for your customers you know you can create any images you know that you want look i've just clicked on mock up too wow look at that jeez so see the transparent you can click on it just have a look as well look look at this look at that Look at that. That's absolutely gorgeous. You know, so you can actually see what you've created by just clicking on them. Look at that. Amazing job. It really has done an amazing job. Anyways, so um let's download these. So go to all actions and then go to download as a zip. Download as a zip, my. So let me download it now uh well i want to download the right one so this one is your last one which you've created so look, this is your main image right the first one the first one is what is by 1000 1000 pixels then we upscaled it so it goes into mock-up one right this is 4096 by 4096 which is fantastic and then from there um we um edited the background deleted the background made it transparent background in mock-up two so mock-up two i'll click that i don't want this one I want all of the ones for mock-up two. Quite simple, quite straightforward. Boom. 
now it's downloading as a zip for me and then i'll just verify validation check them out my okay my is downloaded let's check it out my let's go let's have a look what you got for me now let's go to the zip go to my latest All right where are you there you are there's a downloaded let's open the zip files and then just validate check it out okay so here we go here's all my images in here and i'm just going to highlight whoops i just highlight all of them i just want to open them up extract that uh, let me make new uh, Uh, say okay put it in pink too let it just extract everything my okay i'm in pink 2 now which is the folder that i've saved it all in now what we're going to do is just going to check these out these are all the upscaled and transparent so let me just uh double click on one of these right let me double click so what i should get is i should get a plain right a black background okay let me just click on one of these let's check this out all right absolutely gorgeous look at this there it is look and it's look at that absolutely fantastic right these are my files 4000 by 4000 right all my um, pink Christmas images. Let me check another one out. Let me just verify that quickly. Let's go to the truck, man. Yeah, that's beautiful. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Clean as hell. Mm, beautiful. Beautiful. Let's look at some books. Let's have a look at the gnome. It's always a good idea just to double check. Look at that. That is gorgeous, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, really nice really cool right it's always good just to double check right um but yeah so these are my large file 4000 by 4000 and look the megabytes what's the megabytes on these what about 20 20 megabytes or so what does it say no actually 11 11 10 megabytes right 11 10 8 9 so look 10 megabytes each approximately yeah something like that you know that's that's already like what's that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven that's a that's approximately 110 megabytes in total so i'm not going to be able to upload this on etsy listing like as they are i'll have to actually use a link okay where they can upload it download it from my link through google drive um and then they can download it from my link from there right and i've actually got a video on how to upload big files onto google drive where people can access it through a link and i've got a video on that um in my playlist i'll try and remember to put it at the end of this video right at the top as well okay so do check it out as well because that is fantastic it shows you how to upload big files um onto etsy because obviously these are way too big to put them directly on the listing um yeah and that is it guys that's exactly how you would upload uh upscale and edit bulk images really really quickly and get them ready to list on etsy guys but remember don't forget my videos on how to create the bulk images on mid journey and also how to get them um uploaded onto google drive ready for people to download through the link on google drive yep see you guys on the next video take care